All right, so now we're going to learn how to make icons. Um, and I want to point out that right now, I mean, you can use some of these for icons. So if you take a look right in here, I'm going to zoom in, um, which if you try to zoom in on Windows, it's control. So if I were to like hold down the control key and then also use my scroll wheel, you can zoom in and out. Um, but so I'm going to look here. So this is the Snapchat picture button. So this is how you snap a picture. Now I could recreate this. I could go into my ellipse here and um, if I make it just a perfect circle, maybe, 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 um, I could go into this fill, which in this case, like let's say the fill is black and I could add, there's this stroke here, which I'm gonna add this and I'm gonna make the stroke white and then I'm gonna increase the thickness. So that's what this one is. Um, and I know this is a little bit, we didn't really cover this, uh, but just bear with me here. So we're going to go three on thickness and now I can drag this in and you'll notice I just moved the Snapchat camera button, uh, very quick. And it was done entirely with shapes. So even though shapes aren't always used to make icons, they do work. Um, and another thing that does work, especially when we're brainstorming, right? Because I don't know if you remember seeing, um, if I go back here, and we check out the app, um, you'll see some of these pages, they aren't, you know, they aren't final. They're just kind of, they're ideas that we have, but we don't really know what we want to do. Um, so for example, I have on here, we have this circle. Now we don't know if this is what it's going to look like. We don't know if it's going to change. We have these stars. We don't know what those are going to look like. So sometimes it's okay to not have like a really perfect idea down but just to have the beginnings of an idea down, which is why what I was going to get at here is you could also, fifth tool to the right here, if you click this little arrow down, you could select the pencil. Now the pencil is kind of messy, right? It's really hard to draw a perfect square. Um, if I wanted to go up here and I wanted to make that Snapchat icon um, and I tried to draw a circle, you can see here uh, now, I just want to explain what I'm doing here. I'm going to click the move tool. I'm going to select the circle and I'm going to change this color to white. And now I can drag this over here. And so you'll notice this is not nearly as good as using the shape tool. Um, but regardless of how good it is, if we're brainstorming and we don't really know what something needs to look like, uh, you could still use the pencil and you could say, this is what I was envisioning. And that's the beauty of brainstorming is there's no one's going to critique you for not drawing a good circle because the point is you're you're saying this should be a circle you're not saying this is a perfect circle but you're saying this button should be a circle um and that's if you're doing paper prototyping along with this uh you can definitely you know just draw stuff on paper it does not have to be perfect it's just brainstorms it's just ideas um but if you do want to be perfect and that's where we're going to learn this pen tool so if you are trying to be perfect and you want, you know, straighter lines than this, but more control than these shapes, um, then you can go over here to where we selected the pencil, drop it down, and you can select the pen. Now the pen, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw my name with it. So when I click once, it makes a dot. And when I pull away, so I'm not clicking right now, not clicking at all. Uh, but when I pull away, it creates this other line. So I'm going to, because I'm going to draw my name, starting with a K, I'm going to click again and you'll notice it created that solid line and now you have this other free line, uh, which if I keep clicking, which highly recommend, this is lots of fun. Um, <laughs> but if I keep, keep on clicking, um, I can make this cool little shape, uh, maybe it's a river, I don't know. <laughs> but that's just basically how the, how the pen tool works. I'm going to encourage you to pause the video right now and click around. Don't get frustrated if you can't get it to do what you want it to do. Just click around with just that. All right. So assuming you've uh, clicked around just a little bit, I'm going to say done. So when I say done, it's going to solidify this into a shape. Um, so you'll see, I'll, I'll go up here and I'll click done. And now this is its own shape. So I can move it just like I can move uh, the shapes up there. And maybe, you know, I'm going to scale this down just like you can do the shape. And I'm going to move it up here and um, maybe, I don't know, maybe I want to use that in my app. I don't know. It's an idea. Um, but if we want to use the pen tool a little bit more accurately, what we're going to do is we're going to click that first dot again, 
we're gonna go down, we're gonna make that line, we're gonna hit the enter button. So now I have this separate of anything else. Um, and so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna write my name in cursive, so Kayla. And the reason I'm gonna do cursive is because you'll notice the annoying thing about the pen tool is it's really hard to pick up your pen. So when you draw on paper, if you pick up your pen, it basically creates, you know, it stops your line, your line is done. Um, and this is the same here, where if you keep on clicking, 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 it's gonna be an all connected line. But if at any point you hit enter, you're essentially picking your pen up off the paper and then you can go put it down somewhere else. So that's what I did here is I hit enter for the line on the left, but then I clicked again for this line on the right. And I'm gonna write cursive because in cursive, you don't lift up your mouse a lot or <laughs> your pen. Um, so I'm gonna connect it here. I'm gonna go here. This is gonna be rough, but I'm just gonna click. And by the way, highly encourage everyone to try this out. Um, one thing, so right now, um, I need to make an A, right? So I need to loop, loop around there and I need to click, but it's very easy to accidentally click uh, where one of these circles already is. So I'm gonna try to avoid those. I'm gonna zoom back out. Um, and then I'm gonna go loop. And this is really a work of art. Um, Uh oh, so you'll notice something happened here that I wasn't expecting. I was not expecting this to break up. So what I can do is I can hit Control Z once, twice, and now I have this control back here. Um, so I'm gonna click, and now I'm back in business. Um, so if that happened to you, um, you can definitely just exit out. So I'm gonna hit Enter, or excuse me, not exit out. You can Control Z so that you're back to where your last click was. So I can hit Enter. And then voila, beautiful name. Um, you'll notice if I move it here, it's not connected to the line because these are two separate things, which is which is kind of funny. Um, so I encourage you if you if you didn't follow along there, go ahead, pause the video, and see if you can um, draw your name in cursive uh, using the pen tool. We can join back here. All right. So assuming that you took a break there to use the pen tool for that. We're gonna get a little bit harder here. Um, so if I zoom in over here, if we wanna make the robot again, we can just hop straight to these icons up here. Oh, and you'll notice, um, so if I zoom up and down, I go up and down. If I hold control and zoom, I'll, or control and scroll, I'll zoom in and out. If you hold down the shift key, you can move right and left. Um, now you don't have to do these. You can always just click up here and move the screen like this, the good old fashioned way. Um, but if you do like keyboard shortcuts, that's what those are. All right, so let's see, what's an icon we can make? So I'm gonna zoom in real close here. So this is the TikTok um, notification icon. Now when this icon has, I believe it's a little red number up here, that means you have a new notification. So I'm gonna keep that in view, but I'm gonna scroll down just a little bit and you can use my screen for reference. Um, I highly, highly, highly encourage you right now, uh, before I show you, see if you can make this with the pen tool. So give it a shot, pause the video, see if you can do it. Um, but if you want me to walk you through it, here is how I would do it. So I'm gonna select the pen tool. I'm gonna, well, it doesn't really matter where I start. Let's just start at the bottom left. I'm gonna make this rough little box shape. Do, do, do. And notice how I'm letting those red lines guide me. So this red line pops up, which means anywhere along here is in line with that other one. Um, but I wanna go right there. Um, we're gonna come to the middle. I'm gonna give it the little, the little triangle thing thing. And that looks roughly right. Does not have to be perfect. Uh, so you'll notice I'm done here. And so the next thing I wanna do is I wanna make this little line and then I still have this attached a little bit, so I'm gonna hit enter key. And now that separates it and I can click outside of it. Um, and it's now just, it's a shape like anything else. And I can also, I can go in here, I can change the color, change it to white. It's a little bit hard to see on here. So I'm gonna scroll up, I'm gonna drag this up here. And what do you know? I just made the TikTok notifications icon. Um, I could mess with it further if I were to click uh, double click into here, I can fool around these things. I can adjust it however I need to adjust it. 
and see if I can get it just right, um, which can get kind of addicting because I'm already, you know, I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh, it's just one more click here. Um, and that's awesome. Um, if you if you get to a point where, you know, you want everything to look perfect on the screen, um, you can make some really cool stuff. Um, but just a reminder, we don't have to make perfect things. We can make drafts. We can make just silly little, you know, I could have just as well. I could have gone in here to my pen tool. I could have chose the pencil tool and we could have been brainstorming. And I could have said, what if we had a little notification that looked like this? Now you'll notice I did that a little bit quicker than when I drew this one or did this one. And it's not quite as, you know, perfectly square, but the point is it's getting the idea across. So I'm making a huge point of this because we're going to ask you guys to make us icons for the app. And I just want to make it very clear. We're not expecting these perfectly fleshed out icons. Now, if they are cool, awesome. Um, but just ideas really help us too. So anywhere from using your pencil tool to maybe a quick shape tool to using this is super helpful. Um, so that kind of covers up the basics of all these tools. Um, next, I'm going to go into slightly more advanced. If you are looking to do more than just like the pencil tool and you want to make really good looking icons, um, I'm going to show a little bit more features that come with Figma. Um, but only if you want to make, you know, a perfectly square, if you have an icon in your mind and you don't want to just draw it out with a pencil. So I'll go over that now.